Welcome to solve the virtual lab at NITK. In this short tutorial, I'll explain you how to use this interface to do the position analysis of scotch yoke mechanism to determine the position of the oscillating slider given the position and orientation of the crank and link lens. As you can see here, this interface mainly consists of three sections, one for the animation, second one for changing the variables and third one for control. Here you have an option to see the graph that is plotted dynamically. By moving the slider you can vary the crank and angular velocity and corresponding changes can be seen in the animation and for various lengths of crank and angular velocities the amplitude versus time graph can be seen plotted. If you want to change the angle to analyze various velocities of the crank mechanism pause the animation by clicking here in controls and then change the angle here. Once you set it up for the required angle theta, corresponding position of the system is found here. Now press play to see and analyze changing position of the scotch yoke mechanism. Thank you for watching this tutorial.